If I ask you, are you more of a dog person or a cat person, what would you say? What if you're asked, what makes for the best pet? A dog, a cat, a bird, or maybe even a goldfish, what would you say then? Hi, I'm Rick. This is Invincible Painting Basics, where everything is about paintbrushes, uh, scrapers, preparation, and sandpaper, anything to do with DIY home painting. So what the hell do pets have to do with anything painting? Well, hang about everyone. I'm about to explain why there is no such thing as the best paintbrush in the world, and we're using pets to simplify it. Now, I couldn't count the times I've been asked, what is the best paintbrush to use? And the real answer is, there is no such thing. Now, don't get me wrong here. There are some very good quality professional brushes out there on the market, but for every decent quality brand of brush out there, there are a hundred more that are probably only worthy of your garbage can. Before I get into depth here, watch to the end of this video. I've got some really big changes coming, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it, and I'll point you in the right direction for some good brushes. I can tell you as a very, very long-term professional painter, I can't emphasize this enough. Good brushes, well, good brushes make an absolute huge difference in your ability for things such as cutting in. So do yourself a favor, purchase a decent brush for cutting in, learn how to do it, and you won't spend so much on masking, uh, masking tape and taping literally everything off. If you're taping things to cut in, you're really not cutting in anything at all because you're relying on your masking to cut in for you. You are just slopping paint. You are not cutting in. Now, can I get you to consider clicking on that like button? The more likes this video gets, uh, YouTube algorithms simply suggest this video to other viewers looking for similar videos. So you can help me to help others when they come to doing their own DIY painting projects. And in the end, you know what it is? It's all about helping others. So can you tell me what the perfect pet is? Okay, at the end of the day, I think we all know it doesn't really matter. You like what you like and that's the all of it. And the same can be said about paintbrushes. For me, I'm a pretty man. I've used just about every paintbrush in the world and under the sun and to this day, I'm still a pretty man. <laughs> now, now that doesn't mean pretty brushes are the best paintbrushes in the world. It just means to me that they are the best in the world. And for me, a dog is the best pet in the world. So I think you can see where I'm going with all this. I have known painters out there that are everything Wooster. To them, nothing in the world is better than a Wooster brush. And then there are others that will buy nothing else uh, than a Premier. And still there are others that, you know, their favorites, they have different favorites. Anyone that tells you that one is better than the other is simply biased to their favorite brand. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a purdy man, but to another professional, all that I might say about purdies might simply fall on deaf ears. Uh, but you know, they probably have a goldfish for a pet. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> At the end of the day though, purchasing a decent quality brand of paintbrush is going to amaze you, particularly if you're one that has always purchased the, you know, the cheapest thing that you can find. And I say amaze because the first time you ever use a real brush, instantly, you will feel the difference. Toughen that hand. Okay, just the way it's balanced in your hand from holding it. Put simple, it just feels nice. The other and more amazing thing that you won't believe is the control that you have. Those other cheap brushes just don't work the same, or I probably should say they hardly work at all, if at all. With a quality brush, you as a DIY painter, you now have at least some control. Experience does come into play here when it comes to actually cutting in. Not masking and slopping paint, but really cutting in so that you may get by without masking everything. But wait, there's more. No, not a set of free steak knives, but there is one more amazing thing when it comes to professional brushes, and that is travel. Okay, <laughs> not that kind of travel. By travel, I mean the distance that you can travel with one dip of the brush from the can of paint while you are cutting in. So how, how far can you go? So with, very, with cheap brushes, virtually you have little travel or none at all, no kidding. That's the reason why so many of you have to mask everything. Cheap brushes are nearly impossible to use when cutting in. To me, they're, they are not designed to work as a brush. They're designed, or should I say, they're priced only to sell 
to the unsuspecting DIY homeowner that thinks any paintbrush is well, just a paintbrush. So the question that comes to my mind for you guys is why do you purchase a paintbrush thinking you're going to save money? It won't do anything it's supposed to do. Okay, you'll probably get by with slopping paint on an old wooden fence. Purchasing a, a real professional quality brush guaranteed will speed up your work and you won't believe the amount of travel when you're trying to cut in. Making your painting easier and if cleaned uh, properly and looked after, they will last you a lifetime. It's not hard to clean a brush. Get on over to my new website and check out all the short video tutorials and you'll see just how easy it is to keep all your paint gear clean. I'll put a link to my website in the description below. If you have found this video informative and clicked that like button already, consider subscribing to the channel. I've got a lot of content videos planned in the very near future. Okay, so uh, don't miss out. Hit that bell too while you're at it. And now for the really exciting part, at least for me, I've got a new website, as I just mentioned. That was a tough gig. It's still in construction phase, a lot of stuff going on there, but still has lots of very useful content for the DIY homeowner right now. Now I'll be adding content to that on a fairly consistent basis. Sometimes I run out of time. I'll have a new segment on this channel, Reviews. I'm really looking forward to that one. I'll, re I'll be reviewing brushes and scrapers and you know basically all things paint gear. It's about giving you guys informative information so that you, the DIY homeowner, can tackle a paint project with more confidence, uh, basically simply allowing you to achieve an easier and better outcome. So look for those video uh, tutorials on the website showing all the tricks of the trade. It's all free. If you do support me by purchasing from my online store, well, I thank you. As for recommendations for those top quality brushes for different brands, again, get over to my new website. Uh, the link is below. I go over lots of different brushes, even though it might be the same brands. Uh, the reviews are there, uh, what I recommend. Also, I got a review on the latest newcomers uh, in the professional brush market, the Stinger. Now, I've recently been sent these two little beauties, and I haven't had the chance to use them yet. Um, but my guess, they look a pretty fair contender. If build quality is anything to go by, I mean, oh man, these things look nice. The paintbrush market has more competition on its hands. Now, I already think I know how this brush will perform. I'm not sure if it's going to do exactly what as I want as a professional uh, to do, but I think it's going to be exactly what the DIY home painter needs, and that is cutting in because of that little thing right there. Anyhow, I'll be reviewing this brush and this one also, in the next few weeks, and I will know exactly its capabilities and its best uses and what to say to you guys. So stay tuned for that one. If you do check out the new website, fair warning here, everyone. Uh, although there is a ton of free information, you know, on the tips and tricks that I talked about, the video tutorials, a lot more of those coming. Uh, I only cover real paint gear, the stuff that we professionals use every single day. Everything on that, uh, everything on that website is top professional quality. If you want cheap gear and gimmicks, uh, well, let me put it this way. Maybe, maybe I will do a review on the garbage out there. Um, but it'll be more to protect you, the unsuspecting DIY, from simply throwing away your hard-earned. There is so much garbage out there, and 99% of it doesn't work, guys. I'm Rick. This is Invincible Painting Basic. Glad to have had your company today. Hope to have your company again on the next video, which is just around the corner. Stay safe, happy painting, and so long for now, everyone.